Warning, the following contains scenes that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. You have been warned. Welcome back to another episode of Animation Horrors. In this episode, we will be taking a look at a scene from a movie called Plague Dogs. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. Now, this scene isn't scary in itself, but it's just really disturbing and I thought I really had to put it up here. So let's take a look at it. So it starts all simple enough, you know, we have a hunter looking at the dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all good and fun. So, you know, then the hunter calls the dog over, gaining its trust. Okay, okay, not bad in any way. And then, on, then, well, you know, here it is. The dog finally decides to give in. Okay, so he runs over, and then, oh my god, what was that? Oh, uh, god, that's just horrible. Oh, no, if you've missed it, I'm going to go ahead and play it again. Oh, god, poor dog, and it's definitely not his fault what happened. And, oh my god, right to the face. That poor hunter guy, why did you leave your gun loaded? Uh, that's just nasty and it's horrible. I mean, this whole scene is freaky. Pay close attention to this scene. There is no music. The scene is gray and silent. We only see the dog and part of the hunter's body. And then he just climbs right onto the gun and... Oh, right to the face. Oh. And then the music that plays afterwards just really freaks me out. And we even see blood. And how often do you see that in a kid's movie? And oh man, this is just really horrible and disturbing scene and the worst part is it's not even as worse as some other scenes that I have in my collection but actually this whole movie is messed up the dogs are tortured in a lab then they're tortured in the wild because they can't hunt or anything their friend the fox dies then they're like starving and then they go off to an island and they can't even see it and it turns out to be fake and then they keep swimming and it's supposed to leave in an optimistic sort of look so I hear that's not optimistic optimistic is if some family would have take them in in the end not swimming away to some island while they're starving that's just ugh, this movie's just that messed up it's not that it's a bad movie it's just it's a pretty sad movie but oh man but I I can't get over that shot I mean he took it right to the face and he didn't even yell and oh that must be hardcore Whew. well that scene's over that wasn't too bad I guess but oh god scene is horrible okay so anyways um, I just like to remind everyone that I do not own these scenes and I did not create them the point of animation horrors is to show everyone what I saw as a kid and how watching movies at the time when you're a kid is the normal thing to do and look how one turns out animation horrors is to have me share my experiences of watching these horrific childhood scenes I understand that they were supposed to be a break from reality for children and supposed to maybe discipline them, but do you really think a child understands that? All they see is fear, and like me, they grew up to be different. Now, I'm not blaming these movies or anything, I'm just showing you the experiences that what a movie can have. But once again, I do warn you that they can get a little graphic, so next time you sleep, don't. I'm the Neonity Mouse Critic, and I bid you farewell. <laughs>